so we're about 1.75 miles up. Um, day five. Day five. Yeah, and uh, as you can see, the skies have cleared out tremendously, much bluer, l much, much less smokier. So this is just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, we're in the tree line, so it's hard to get shots of the grandeur um, all around us because it's somewhat obscured at times by trees. So I want to take a moment and uh, make sure when we do have a good view to get some video of it. So yeah, it's hard to really capture it all because there's so much around and uh, the trees will obscure stuff here and there, but beautiful, beautiful day. We'll catch up with you guys later. So here we are at Middle Kramer Lake. And I'm not gonna lie, it is pretty beautiful. Pretty amazing. No wonder everybody was coming up here to spend the night. Heck yeah. We'll catch you guys. We're gonna take it's about it's about 3.45 miles up here. And it took us about an hour and 50 minutes to get up here. Um, so we're gonna take a nice long break, we're moving along at a really good pace. You can see I think up that direction is our pass. We have to go up and over to the right of the falls. Um, but wow, this is gorgeous up here. Ooh, if it was a little warmer, I would definitely get in this water. Perfect, clear, cool water for us. All right, we'll catch up with you guys later. Just wanted to stop for a second and give you guys a shot of Upper Kramer Lake um, and a little bit of the pass. You can see off in the distance, um, actually the actual pass is hidden by this knoll right across the lake from me but it's just so pretty up here um, i was afraid i wasn't gonna be able to get a good shot again so i definitely wanted to take the opportunity to get a good shot and so you guys could share in this so we'll catch you guys later so i think right up here we're going to get our first proper view of the pass we're gonna to have to go over but besides that I mean it's just look at this environment we're in this is just absolutely bananas um, you see in front of me once I get past this tree here you can see how I think the pass we're gonna go through is just uh, up there, I mean, you can see where we gotta go straight ahead of me. Um, it's behind this knoll, but I'm sure we'll get a better view once we get up and over this uh, first little bit. I can hear a, a stream going on. I know that there's a body of water up there, according to the map, and I guess that's gonna be confirmed with the uh, with the fact that we got a stream coming down. So. We will follow up with you guys when I get a better view of the actual pass. What do you think, Greg? Ready. What, what do you think about this environment? Quite amazing. Rugged. Catch you guys later. So, up here in front of me, I believe we can get our first really good view of the pass. We're going to be going up it's just in view. Um, there might be a better view a little farther up, but I want to take this opportunity to let you guys experience it how I experience it. We're also probably coming up to that body of water 
that's up above um, Kramer Lakes. Looking on the USGS map, it's not named anything, but I figure I bring you. Oh yeah, there it is. Here we go. Oh wow. Yeah. That looks refreshing. So, yeah, you can see what we got going on here. So, I'll probably, I see some, a switchback right there. I bet I'll get a better view of the, the pass up there. So, I'll say goodbye for now and pick it up, back up up there. Catch you guys later.